Good morning, everyone. This is Grant. Um, yesterday, Liz Martins asked a question. I made a reference to a reading method that I use called SQ3R. You can Google it. It can come right up. And this is my brief summary of SQ3R. I came across SQ3R, I want to say in the early 2000s, as a means when I was trying to research ways to learn quicker. So right now as a small business owner, at any moment I could need to learn a new topic. Whether that was learning a new topic for my clients, say for example landscaping or medical clinics or um, even working with other web agencies. We work with a variety of web agencies from the Spark Sites side, but as a coach and trainer I might want to inform myself significantly in preparation to help a client. And so I've been known to have answers to be able to talk about anything because I can learn anything at any time. There's several thought tools that I've used for this and we can go into some of the others later, but a very powerful one is SQ3R. And SQ3R basically stands for survey, survey the material. Q stands for questions, write down, actually write physically down questions you have about the topic after you surveyed the topic. And then the last, uh, the three R's are uh, review, uh, read, review, and recite, or read, recite, and review, I apologize. So what this means is this, survey. So first off, you have a methodical way that you survey uh, a book. So when I say that I've read a book this morning, basically I've gone through SQ3R, and I've gone through the SQRRR in steps until I believe I have a comprehension of that piece of material. So I've surveyed the book. Basically, I've read the table of contents, and then I actually open the book and read the title page of each chapter and the first paragraph of each chapter and the last paragraph of each chapter. I can usually do that in 15 minutes to a half an hour. And you can take the book then and go, I've surveyed the material. Then I make another pass of surveying where I actually see any graphics and subtitles to the graphics and read that as well as the appendices. And in general, you don't need to read beyond the S uh, in most books and material. For example, yesterday I referred to a branding book that I read. And in the branding book, it's got plenty of vocab and material. So I flipped through it and I did just survey and I made several surveying passes and I realized it didn't raise any good questions for me. It just gave me good vocab. That's how I knew I was done with the book. It didn't raise any questions. Now contrast that to this morning, I'm reading another branding book called the On the Origin of Brands. And in my surveying past, several questions came up, and one of those questions are, how do I strategically implement uh, the origin of brands concept of divergence to today's world when this book was written in 2001? So I have a very tactical question. So what happens after survey, you come up with questions, and if, you, if the book itself or the material from the survey did raise questions, then you need to uh, read, recite, and review. And again, in my reading, I do another version of the survey where I try to zoom in on the areas of the book that answer the questions I've asked. So in my case, this section on divergence in the origin of brands, I'll zoom in on that section and then in the subsections, I'll read the titles of the subsections and the intro paragraph and the closing paragraph of each of the subsections until I get closer to the meat of the question I have, which is about divergence. Once I get into the question area on divergence, I'll read the intro sentence and the outro or exit or transition sentence of all the paragraphs in the section on divergence. And then if I still feel the necessity, I'll dive into reading every word in the section on divergence. And then I'll ask myself a new set of questions. That's the read and read, recite, review. So the recite part is, can you teach someone about it? So I'll immediately download with Marissa over coffee or breakfast or a friend in one of my networking meetings or in my one of my mastermind meetings, I'll bring the concept up and recite it. Basically, you don't know a topic until you can teach it. So if I can teach that topic, I finish reciting and then I keep that book about, around for review. If you've ever seen my photos of our office space, there's books everywhere. And that is sometimes now when I look, I can be reminded or review the concept. So SQRRR, SQ3R, survey, write questions, read, recite, and review. And that's how I go through material as quickly as I do. And here's the thing on why this works and why I can read a book in a day. Because even if you did that full process, that would take more than a day. It's this. The more you know, the more reference points you have. I have many reference points because I've consumed a lot of knowledge. I'm not a deep, deep knowledgeable person about, in this case, branding or marketing. But I have other concepts of business, 
Other concepts of technology, a lot of marketing and branding talks about the technology bell curve and it's always presented as a new idea. In yesterday's book that I read in a single surveying pass, it referred to a lot of previous concepts I've encountered. If you're new, new, new to studying in general or new, new, new to business in general, if you pick up a branding book, you might have to read the thing front to back. But I've been studying these concepts from a search engine optimization perspective, from a digital marketing perspective. So I have a ton of reference points. And now when I pick up a new book, a lot of authors and SQ3R and knowledge acquisition in general banks on the fact that a lot of authors are regurgitating material. That's not a dig. Regurgitating material is what our human species does. It consumes material of the old and recontextualizes it to today. So SQ3R leverages that. It assumes that I'm going to see very familiar concepts that I've seen before if I'm a studier in general. And so SQ3R can equip you. If you have to go through most of the material, it'll help you do that in a targeted way. If you, if you don't have to go through most of the material, it'll help you go through the meat of that material very quickly and capture it and utilize your previous reference points. So Liz, I hope this answers your question on what is SQ3R. There's a ton of thought technologies like that that I use at State of the Spark to build our business and multiple businesses around us that I use as a coach and a consultant. Please ask your questions below. If you have similar questions to Liz's, like what is SQ3R or what are your other thought technologies, please ask. That's what we're here for, and here's to you igniting your own life of explosive significance.